So here we have scientists studying the growth of a type of bacteria and they've developed a formula that allows them to predict the number of bacteria present after a certain number of hours based on when the study began. So that's the formula, it's BT equals, now BT, this tells you is the number, number of bacteria, that's the left hand side, and that's equal to 200 times the number E to the power 0 0.107 times T. And it also explains that that's the number of hours that have elapsed since the start of the study. So that's what the formula means. So let's have a look at part A. State the number of bacteria present at the start of the study. Well that's when there's no hours elapsed. So when t equals zero. This part is zero. So b of zero, that's the number of bacteria present at the very beginning of the study, is 200 times the number e to the power 0 0.107 times 0. Now that's 200 times e to the power, this time 0 is just 0, and your laws of indices tell you that any number to the power 0 gives you 1, unless the number's 0 to the power 0, that's a different story. So there's 200. So 200 bacteria present at the start. And part B says calculate the time taken for the number of bacteria to double. So we need to find T so that we now have 400 bacteria. The number of bacteria, it's green here, the number of bacteria has to be 400. So we have to find T so that the number of the bacteria is 400. So let's plug that in. 400 is on the left of this equation and we've got 200 times e to the power 0 0.107 times t and we have to find this number t. So let's divide both sides first of all by 200. We'll get 2 equals e to the power 0 0.107 times t. Now this you might recognise as a power statement. Power statements, things like 2 to the power 3 equals 8. And we can always transfer power statements into log statements. Log to the base 2 of 8 is 3. That's another way of saying this power statement. I like to read these as saying the log statement. You say what power do you raise 2 to to get 8? The answer is 3. What power do you raise 2 to to get 8? The answer is 3. So in this case, what power do you raise e to to get 2? The answer is this. What power do you raise e to to get 2? And the answer is 0 0.107t. So there's the power, the log statement that's equivalent to this power statement. So you should be able to convert power statements to log statements. Practice it. We now have to divide both sides by 0 0.107 to get t on its own. So therefore t would be equal to left hand side log to the base e of 2 divided by 0 0.107 and for that we'll need to use calculator log to the base e of 2 is the natural log 
ln of 2. So we'll go natural log of 2, log to the base e of 2, and we'll divide that by 0 0.107. And that gets us 6.478 and so on. Now, the question says, calculate the time taken for the number of bacteria to double. And remember, T represents the number of hours since the study began. So, after 6.5 hours, now how accurate is that? The one decimal place. The number of bacteria 